Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Epcot for the International Flower and Garden Festival 2024. I love this festival because I think it's a great balance between delicious food and beautiful floral arrangements and topiaries. And I wanted to make a little video and show you guys some of my favorite. So we're gonna smell some flowers, eat some food, and have a beautiful flower and garden festival kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. We have made it to Epcot and look how beautiful the flowers are. The monorails coming into station and I'm excited to get something to eat. Lots of good food. That's the shot right there. We're most likely going to head straight back into World Showcase and start making our way around, checking out all of the festival booths and trying some of the food and also looking at all the topiaries, uh, the floral like uh, arrangements that look like Disney characters. And they have a couple new ones this year and they have them all mapped out inside uh, the little handy dandy passport. And one of the ones that I'm excited to see is Groot. They have a Groot one and it kind of makes it, it it's funny, you know, Groot as a topiary, as a tree. Of course, we have to start the day by grabbing one of our handy dandy festival passports. And I'm excited for Flower and Garden Festival because of the garden grays. Look at this. It's kind of just like the cookie stroll and the meals uh, fromage montage where you go around and you collect five items or you purchase five food items and you get a prize at the end for free. And you get little stamps. And look at some of these things. Strawberry shortcake, potato pancakes, avocado toast. Yeah, sign me up. I'll eat all that. I came here yesterday for opening day, and I didn't make a video. I did shoot some clips that I might add in later on in the video, but I kind of just hung out with some friends, walked around, uh, tried some snacks, and kind of did some research to make this video. And there were a couple of hiccups on opening day from what I heard, and uh, they kind of corrected them all today. Some of the food is being prepared differently, and it's kind of uh, cool to be able to show you guys that. And also, I'm happy to be wearing in my fancy little Roosevelt shirt. I feel like it's perfect for flower and garden and also Easter. It's like an Easter. It's a Mickey shirt. Look at Mickey's on there. The Flower and Garden Festival is a lot more than just food and flowers. They even have the Garden Rocks, which is a concert series that's free here. And they got Jody Messina coming, Blue October, Plain White Tees, uh, Simple Plan, Rick Springfield. I love it. So hopefully we'll catch some of those shows throughout the year. And then here is a map of the festival itself. Usually I like to head towards Mexico first, but I think I'm going to do the outskirts. Uh, they have some boots actually before you actually make it in the World Showcase, like over here. So we'll start this direction. I ran into a friend who made these beautiful paging Mr. Morrow ears and uh, she asked me to sign them so I signed them. Look at that and I said wow my mom would love these ears and she said keep them. So now I've got a nice fancy uh, pair of paging Mr. Morrow ears and if my mom wants to come down to Flower and Garden Festival she can wear them here. You hear that mom? I'm trying to tempt you. <laughs> I love those ears and I wish my mom would come down for these festivals because I would love to have her here especially when it comes to trying the food having my mom and sister here and being able to like get their input I mean there's a lot of things I'm gonna try today I mean I'm doing the garden graze so that means I'm gonna be trying five plant-based items uh, but for the most part uh, it's hard to actually like keep on eating all day so when my mom and sister are here I get to be like hey you try this and I'll try the next one and they've come before so mom you gotta make it down. You got some ears and food waiting for you. The first festival booth is gonna be the Florida Fresh Stand. And here is a look at the menu. They have a grilled warm water lobster tail with key lime butter for $11.25, some pork belly, some Florida strawberry shortcake, and some cucumber watermelon slushy. I think we're gonna get all of it. Look, you can actually see them grilling up the lobster over there. That's actually, that's impressive. I love that it's actually grilled lobster and they got the grill right next to the stand here. Look at the bubbles going back there. Right outside uh, Figment. Lobster and Figment. That's the way. Here is a look at all of the food from the Florida Fresh Stand. I'm impressed by the lobster here. I hope it looks, I hope it tastes as good as it looks. And the cucumber watermelon slushy looks good. The uh, strawberry shortcake is... Uh, I don't see a lot of cake under there and I can't tell if it's a biscuit or if it's going to be a pound cake. And then uh, the Cubano. 
I think that's what it's called. A lot of good food. All of this was $27. $27 for the menu. I'm gonna dive into the watermelon uh, cucumber slushy because it's already melting. Uh, but I'm gonna eat the watermelon first. Oh, that's so refreshing. This is so good. Now that I've gotten that shortcake, uh, I am four stamps away from completing the garden graze, and then I get to go to the redemption location to pick up my festival treat. I get a free treat. And the best thing about this garden graze, I don't know if I mentioned it, it's all plant-based. Everything's plant-based, including like the buffalo chicken tender poutine and the impossible farmhouse uh, meatball. And uh, I'm gonna try to finish this today at least. And look at the lobster tail. And I'm spilling a little bit of my watermelon uh, cucumber slushy on there, but I'm excited to try the key lime uh, butter on there. I'm gonna give it a little bit of the lemon. That's the way. And I got a fork just so I can kind of pull out the lobster. A whole entire lobster tail for 11, or I think it was $11. That's not a bad deal. Look at that. Holy moly. That looks good. You can see the char marks on there. Mm. This is gonna be hard to top for me. This is a this is a juicy lobster. And the lemon butter sauce I like a lot. Maybe I like that I got a little of that watermelon cucumber on there too. This is a good deal for $11. Holy moly, that's a big tail. Now it's time to dive into the strawberry shortcake and everything so far has been amazing. The lobster tail, the cucumber watermelon slushy, uh, and this is looking pretty good. Except for I don't like uh, like the cakey uh, strawberry shortcake. I like it when it's a biscuit. Biscuit? So here we go. So far, starting out from my first uh, stop, I feel like all the food has been amazing. The lobster tail stole the show from me. I ate that up. I would probably get another one. They come here, get three lobster tails, $30 dinner. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, I don't know if you fill up on that, but it's a, probably a lot of sodium too. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're going to make our way maybe to the next booth after I finish up this delicious little cucumber slushy. I also love how all of the food for Flower and Garden is like very colorful. You know what I mean? You got watermelon, lemons on the plate. You know, they're garnishing them up real nice. And uh, yeah, kind of makes me feel happy. Happy to be a Flower and Garden. Now that we've gotten the lobster business taken care of, which by the way, it's gonna be hard to top that. Uh, the shortcake was pretty good. I just didn't like the cake part. And then I, I understand it is uh, plant-based, but like I said, I make I like the biscuit type. And I go to the uh, strawberry festival down uh, near Tampa every single year. Uh, but now we're gonna move along and uh, see if we can get more food from the Garden Grays and make our way towards Mexico. I made an executive decision to head towards Mexico and uh, looks like it's a little bit busy. There's a lot of other cool uh, like boots on the outside here, but I figured if I walk this way and kind of do a little loop-de-loo, a little wrap around, uh, we can uh, get a lot covered. I'm gonna be trying a big variety of different items, not just things on the garden graze because that's all plant-based. And you know, I like steak, I like meat and potatoes. Uh, so uh, I'm excited and also I wanna mix it up, maybe a couple, two tree desserts, a couple of them, uh, and just see what's really good and share my experiences with you, you know? That's the thing, you know, a lot of times I feel like people watch my videos, nah, I mean, they get some information about it, but people usually judge with their eyes first. So just me giving you guys a, like a landscape or showcase of you know my day at the festival can you know maybe supply a little knowledge to you if you ever plan on coming to the flower and garden festival for yourself one of my favorite new topiaries this year is the coco one and i love dante here it's so pretty especially with all the colors here and the flowers and it's right outside the mexico and citrus blossom uh like connection here i like it i love dante especially in the magic happens parade over in disneyland this is the moment. Here is the uh, flower and garden booth in the Mexico Pavilion. And some of this stuff looks so good. I mean, look at that uh, pork. Pork in that fried corn shell and then the tamale here and then the flan and then we've got some margaritas. The margaritas are always good and that floral one, I seen the cup and it actually looks awesome. So I think uh, we're gonna get uh, a little bit of everything here. Try it all. Gotta get the margaritas in, you know? These cups are so fancy. Look at that. I love it. 
And uh, yeah, cheers. I love how it matches my shirt too. Oh, that is so good. That is delicious. It's like almost, it's a margarita, but it's refreshing. Like I can literally drink this stuff, like stay hydrated. Wow. Oh, hey, that guy's wearing one of my shirts. Look at that. I'm sitting here drinking a margarita. And that guy's got a shirt that has all my sayings on it. <laughs> that is awesome. Anywho's, look at this shirt. Yo, that is too fancy. Look at that. I couldn't get mine. Go ahead. Oh, oh. oh well, I wish. I think they're going to restock soon. They sold out so fast. Oh. Yo, I wanted the one I got with the, the hat. I got this one. Oh, hi. How are you? Yo, that is, uh, thank you, dude. You're awesome, man. That made my day. Can I was sitting there. Yeah, of course. I want a picture. <laughs> oh, my Lanta. <laughs> that was so cool. I was just sitting here and I was drinking the margarita and then I seen the shirt go by and I was like, oh, I got so excited. Kind of fanboyed and chased after, fanboyed after my own shirt, but I got excited. I am a fanboy. I was, I was shocked. I, I was honored. But this floral margarita is phenomenal. It's so delicious. Goes down so smooth that that is dangerous. And you get a little fancy cup. And now I want to show you the food that they have. On top of the margaritas, they also have some really good food, and I was excited for the tamale. Look at this. I love tamales, and it's something that I've recently just started to actually like a lot more because I've never had it before. I got it, uh, I think, at a, a nice little restaurant once, and now I'm always looking for a good tamale. And look at this, the lychee margarita. Oh, well, cheers. Yeah. <laughs> There's actually, I've never seen a whole lychee before. I'm kind of interested in trying it. I'll have the margarita, you have the leech. All right, deal. Let's do it. The food is amazing, and I love the margarita. Now I'm trying the fruit. I've never had this before. Thank you. I'm going for it. Here we go. Tastes like fruit cocktail. The Farmer's Feast actually has a rotating menu by the month. As you can see here, February 28th to March 30th, you have this menu. And then March 31st to April 27th, you have this menu. And then April 28th to May 27th, you have that menu. And they all look pretty good. Pork tenderloin, seared scallop, veal loin, grilled street corn on the cob, all hibiscus lemonade. And I think we're gonna get that corn on the cob. One thing you gotta appreciate about Flower and Garden is how they cook everything outside on little grills. And I'm gonna kinda highlight it all. You got a nice little street corn uh, station here. Look at that. I like it. Very fancy. Everything smells good between the flowers and the food, you know? Now that I purchased the uh, grilled street corn, I have one more stamp away from completing the garden graze. And I love how each stamp is the actual item. And here is the corn. Look at that looking pretty good it's got some cheese on top and some garlic butter you can see kind of on the inside there we're gonna dive in a little corn on the cob on a nice epcot day i'm also in the dog relief station somehow i came over to this nice little grassy knoll to enjoy my corn on the cob i realized it's kind of hard to walk around and eat this so you kind of be stationary or you're gonna get everything everywhere so cheers isn't this the most flower and garden food item you can get the whole corn on the cob yo the garlic butter on this is amazing i love corn on the cob it's a nice little stack and it's good to get it here in epcot i like to get corn on the cob in animal kingdom too so far today we've had lobster corn on the cob strawberry shortcake i like it i like it a lot and this is actually amazing this is really good not as good as the lobster though in my opinion all right enough of the corn business it's time to uh, just go right around the corner to brunch cot and uh try their uh biscuit and gravy i think they have they have biscuit and gravy and uh i think it's also avocado toast right here it is brunch cot and uh, you can take a look at the menu they actually have avocado toast and the biscuit and gravy and that is an impossible chicken fried steak with impossible sausage gravy the avocado toast is on the uh, garden graze but this isn't still need to get it though because i want to try it and i've had these fried cinnamon roll bites before so i don't think i'm going to get them this time 
We've got our third stamp now. It's a little avocado for the avocado toast, which is right here. And then I got a fancy little uh, biscuit and gravy. And this is a plant-based biscuit and gravy, like I said. And I'm excited to try it. And this is a nice little corner spot to eat your food. Who needs a trash can when you got a rail and a, a little guard, I don't even know, stand? It works. All right, I'm gonna start with the avocado toast. And it's funny because uh, I uh, actually never liked avocado until La Cava. I liked guacamole there. That's the first time I had guacamole and uh, avocado that I liked. And now I love it. So cheers. That is so good and light. I could eat this whole entire thing. And uh, it's got very nice flavor, especially with a little bit of the tomatoes on top there. But now I want to dive in to the biscuit and gravy. I'm a little skeptical on this. I'm a meat eater, but I'm always willing to try new things and see if I like it. And I've been fooled before. Like, there have been plenty of times before where I've gotten something that's plant-based, and uh, when I eat it, I'm like, no way. No way that's plant-based. So hopefully this is the same way. And especially because I love biscuit and gravy so much, you know? First, I think I'm gonna just try a little bit of the biscuit and the gravy with the sausage bite, and I wanna taste the gravy on its own. It's got a little bit of a kick to it, actually. It's a little bit spicy. I didn't expect that, a little bit spicy. I wasn't completely fooled. I kinda like was like, all right, I can tell that this is plant-based after the first bite, but uh, it's still very delicious. It's very good. I like the texture. I just wish that uh, the biscuit was a little bit more like flaky. It's a little bit dry though. Just a little more flakiness and the sausage wasn't too bad. Actually, the sausage might be my favorite thing of the whole entire biscuit and gravy combo. I'm glad we went to Brunch Cop when we did. Now look at the line. It definitely got a little bit busier. But uh, yeah, I enjoyed the avocado toast and the uh, biscuit and gravy. And it's time to keep moving along. I gotta keep moving along and complete the garden graze. And I wanna head back over in that general direction. We kinda did a little circle, whoop, just like that. Inside the Odyssey, they have the citrus blossom, which has some good items, and I love going inside here. They always have something fancy going on. And I love cracking my back on this little rail right here. Just lean back a little bit, ooh. Better be careful, I don't lose my hat. Here is a look at the citrus blossom. There's not a lot of new menu items on this menu this year. They have the orange sesame tempera shrimp, like this one right there. I had that last year, and then they got a lemon meringue pie, the orange lemon smoothie, and a couple of other stuff, but I think I might just skip it and then uh, show you like uh, the inside of it. Only because, like I said, I don't wanna eat too much, and if it's the same stuff that I had last year, no sense of getting it this year. But I bet you they got some good merch in here at least. Oh, looking very fancy in here. Got a bunch of orange uh, bird projections up there. I like it, it can cool off a little bit. Greetings from the Flower and Garden Festival. I like that. It actually blows my mind how much food you can eat without actually going to the back of World Showcase. But I kind of have a dilemma because I want to try the potato pancakes over in Germany because they're on the garden gaze and I want to get that stamp. But that means that I have to walk all the way back to Germany and then come all the way back around and kind of go off route. I mean, I would like to do a full lap today, but you know, I don't know if I can. The sun's gonna start setting. It's gonna get rainy maybe. There's a lot of different things happening in Florida. Our pet's heads are falling off. That was just a funny movie reference from Dumb and Dumber. Our pet's heads aren't really falling off. But I think I'm going to make my way back this way. I don't think I'm going to make my way all the way to Germany. I think I'm going to go over here, get these uh, boots right here, and then uh, maybe... Who knows? I do want to get Canada. We got to go actually. I might go all the way over to Canada right now. I'm looking over some of the... Uh, offerings or items that I can use for the garden graze. They've got a coconut tres leches over between France and Morocco I can make my way towards. Or I can get the uh, plant-based buffalo chicken tender poutine near Canada. I gotta get two more, only two more, and I can officially say I've garden graze. On my way over back towards Canada, I stopped here at Troll and Trellis. I, I doubt I said that right, but TNT, so I can get the meatball because the Impossible Farmhouse Meatball is a part of the Garden Graze. 
And then they had a nice little raspberry lemonade. And I wanted to point out, look, they're cooking up something back there. I wonder if they're meatballing. You meatballing or ribbon? Meatballing. Meatballing? That's the way. Smells good. It's like a meatball burrito and it's trowel trellis. I don't know why I have a hard time saying it. Trowel trellis. Trawl and trellis. I said it. Ah, maybe just TNT. TT. TT. TT in the meatball here. And I love, you know what? Kudos to that chef when I'm like, hey, you meatballing it? And he's like, yeah, I'm meatballing it. He knew. So here we go. Try the impossible. Mmm. That is delicious. Look at the peppers in there, too. Mmm. And then. I got this tea. It was like a lemon with limeade and raspberry. It's like a raspberry limeade. That's a spicy meatball. That's kicking in. I'm glad I got this tea. That's a really spicy meatball. Oh, now I need more. That was amazing. What a combo. That's a success. And with that meatball, we are one away from the Garden Grays completion. One away. Look at that. I've had a uh, strawberry, some corn, some avocado, some meatballs, and then uh, what's next? Some beets, bears, Battlestar Galactica. The meatball was very good, very spicy. The tea was great. And now we only have one more to go on the Garden Grace. And I might get the Buffalo Chicken Tenders uh, poutine because I don't normally like cheese, but this is uh, fake cheese. So I might like it. You know what I mean? Because it's not real cheese, it's uh, plant-based. And uh, that will get us uh, the completion for the Garden Grace. And then maybe we can hit up the Canada booth because it's right next there. We could actually hit all three of them in like five minutes because we're all right next to each other and that one finishes the other. Don't you love the excitement when a plan comes together and you didn't even realize you were planning it? <laughs> Look at how perfect this is. All you have to do is get this one stamp right here and then I take the book right on over there and then I get this stamp there. I get a free treat and then I can come right back over here and go to Canada and get some scallops. Get some fancy scallops. Sounds like a plan. It's a fanciness. The last one. What is it now? It's potato barrels. It's a potato barrel stamp. I love it. Here is the buffalo chicken tender poutine. And look at this. This looks amazing. And this is plant-based and it gave me my last stamp. So now I have officially completed the garden grays and I can go get my redemption and get my little cup there. And I'm excited to try them. It looks pretty good. I probably wouldn't have wanted that ranch on there, but I forgot to tell them no on that. So I'll still give it a try and pick around it. I love that they actually have potato barrels now. Trying the potato barrels on their own with a little buffalo sauce first. Hmm. That's pretty good. Now I want to try the chicken. And the chicken is plant based too. Look at that. A little buffalo chicken. Take a nice little tater tot. Get some of that poutine. Wow. It's definitely hot. It's not a mild sauce at all, but the chicken's impressive, the sauce is good, and uh, the poutine, like, I like this. This is good, I would get it again. It's burning up though. My mouth is burning between the spicy meatballs and the spicy chicken tenders. I'm spiced out actually. Right outside the buffalo chicken tender poutine spot, Bambi has some topiaries here, and they're so nice because you can actually see some birds flying around. I wish a bird or a butterfly would just land right on Bambi's nose. And now, uh, I think we'll go to Northern Blue, get our scallops. They're only giving out two scallops, and now they're going to be cooking them outside instead of inside. And uh, I'm excited because I like a good grilled, I like that nice little char or that little like layer, like the crispness on the bottom of a scallop. So that's what I'm looking for. 
the buffalo chicken tender poutine was great at refreshment port and now we can head back down that way to get our redemption for the garden grays but before that i wanted to actually come over and get uh some of the northern bloom items they've got seared scallops here the ones i was talking about then they also have a chocolate maple whiskey cake and uh yeah I, I, I kind of want to go see the cooking situation with the seared scallops look at them over there look at the line too holy moly that's a lot of people waiting for scallops. That's pretty impressive. And they look so good. I love scallops too. I'm a big scallop guy. Look at them. We're about to see that sear shot. It's on the Blackstone looking all fancy. You seriously did a perfect time. Like perfect timing on those scallops. Yeah, those look amazing. And now I'm going to buy some. I'm going to get some. <laughs> Take a look at that molten chocolate cake and the scallops. Look at that searedness. They look so good. I, that is exactly how I love my scallops to look. This is going to be a great meal. I'm excited that we got it. And it's time to dive in. I'm definitely going scallop first, but take a look at that. Isn't that a beautiful scallop? Honestly, I am so excited for this. So here we go. Perfect. Perfect. Scallops and lobsters today. It's all about it. Flower and Garden is all about the seafood. And I love it. And then also the chocolate cake looks good. But now I want to try the potato. Look at that potato. I'm trying to get a potato scallop bite. That's the way. This actually might rival the lobster for me. It's that good. They even got purple potatoes. Purple potatoes and scallops. Ooh, this one's a little bit smaller though. I feel like I got, I got a big scallop and then I got a little scallop, but look at that. Oh, much too good. I devoured these. All right, let's get down to this chocolate cake. Let's get to the cake business. I grabbed a new fork. Not that the scallops taste fishy or smell fishy. I just don't want no scallops in my chocolate cake, if you know what I mean, which I'm sure you do. Is this a molten cake or is that the molten? I don't know. Let me get a little bit of that. There we go. That's the bite right. Ooh. That's the bite right there. Chocolate cake, everyone. Mmm. The cake's pretty good. I mean, it's not the best dessert I've had today. But I would, I would, uh, I'd probably get it again, maybe. I'd probably take a snacky pool again. The scallops were delicious, and now uh, I think I'm going to collect my prize at the Garden Grays over at the Pineapple Promadan. Promadan. I uh, just got to show up. They stamped this, and I get to collect my prize. Look at that. It's so funny. I got tots, meatballs, avocados, strawberries, and corn. Everything you actually needed to complete it. <laughs> Are you getting your redemption? Yeah, the redemption for... For both of them? Oh, no, just this one. Oh, okay, sorry. That's my empty one. One redemption... Oh, thank you. Oh, wild. Oh, you get yeah. seeds. I know. That's what I said. So I'm going to no, plant no, something. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm going to plant some. Wildflower mix. So this is what you get once you complete the garden grays. I got a nice little wildflower mix. And then you get this collectible plastic club that uh, cup, cup that says garden grays on it. Maybe Epcot on this side. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Right there. Flower and garden. I like it, and it's a mango peach sorbet, I think it is. I don't know, I gotta try it. They said it out loud, but I didn't know what it was. I'm just gonna take it right off the top here. Ooh, that's delightful. That's very delicious. Very refreshing, actually. Mm. And I like the mug. I'm gonna walk with this. I'm gonna walk with this. It's funny because normally during the festivals, whenever I complete like the little thing in the back of the book, it's like the end of the video. And I haven't even got to show you any of the topiaries yet. I've only seen one. I showed you Figment when we first walked in. And then I showed you Dante uh, Coco. And then here is uh, Encanto. And that's it. That's the only ones I've seen so far. I haven't seen any other ones since I got here. We've only been in the front of the park. And those are the only ones. Oh, also we saw Bambi too. A Bambi over by uh, Canada. 
And I guess with that, I think we're going to have to call it a day here. We didn't even make it into World Showcase. We made it as far as Mexico on one side and Canada on the other. Uh, but I had a lot of fun, got a bunch of little cups and tried a lot of food and we completed the Garden Grays. So now it's time to head home and uh, I'll talk about some of the things I thought were my favorite and uh, we'll see Gracie Girl. Is there a pretty Dalmatian here? There she is! The most beautiful dog on earth, Gracie girl. And with that, I think we are done here today. It was a great uh, first video for Flower and Garden Festival. Uh, I have to say the lobster was my favorite thing. Honestly, I just love grilled seafood. So the combination, like I don't like my lobster poached. I love it grilled. So that was just right up my alley. Uh, the Garden Grays was fun. Uh, trying all the plant-based items. Like I said, there's a lot of that stuff where I'm like, no, nah, that can't be... That can't be plant-based. That can't be real. I guess that's why, you know, one of the places like uh, Impossible named their name Impossible. Because, like, when you're eating something, you're like, no, that's impossible. Uh, but, yeah, very fun flower and garden. I'll definitely be making an, a second part of this video. But can you believe that that is just the front part of Epcot? And we didn't even touch a lot of the other stuff, like the butterfly tent. Flower and garden is a very, very big festival they have lots to offer and it goes on for months and months and like i said you can see they have like uh month one month two month three over at uh the farmer's feast and uh yeah i'll be going back and forth and checking up on the things but so far from what you saw today at the garden grays and all around the park the fruit i have to say the lobster the floral margarita in mexico it's so good <laughs> i loved it uh and then the scallops like, I love the scallops. They were so good. Everything, like, was amazing and fun. Uh, but uh, those three really stood out for me today. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be posting more, like I said, uh, uh, for the next couple of months. So uh, stay tuned. And uh, I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.